Hey, here is Joe again and welcome back to The Messenger, where we are in Riviere Turquoise for our first time and I'm still in my post-production, post-recording episodes, the four of them that I have to re-record my voice over for because uh, Windows screwed me up. Going down the here and following the boat since the river is deadly. Um, now I saw... Wait, there's a thing up here? Let's go there. Uh-huh. Where does this lead? There's another exit here. Uh-huh. But there's a power seal to the right, so I'm going there now. So we can go through this gate, which closes behind me. But we want to go to this power seal. And I actually cut this. I said 13 minutes. Over, a, a bit over 30 minutes uh, I used for trying this room. And we only see my first attempt and then the final attempt, which made it. So, uh, be glad that I'm in post-production here and I can just spare you all this shit. So we're cutting directly to our last attempt, directly going in from the respawn. I learned a lot of how the, the gliding works uh, again in this room. So we're gliding, we're gliding a bit trying to avoid the things because um, that animation that uh, knocks us down is way too extended for this to properly work. So you can see that I'm now a pro at this and don't do any mistakes anymore. But we're trying to, to stay aloft just here and give us a few more... That, that, no, no, no. Okay, we have to try that again. What... A perfect attempt at this. What a perfect attempt. You already see it's growing, going great. So we have to just stay afloat to wait for our time window. We have to wait for a whole round of the things here. And then we have to ascend, jump over and go here again. And if we get hit, we'll have a problem. And we have a real problem. And, and got hit again and I'm using the iframes. And if I'm power picking up a power serial during the iframes, we're invisible. It's great. I really like to use the iframes to sheath those puzzles. But that's how we do. And we can finally continue after 30 minutes of that room, which was like one and a half minute now. And the fucking thing kills us because we went uh, in before uh, the first set of boats arrived down there. 2734 time shots lost. I hope that we'll get that money sink soon, that we can do something with a thousand we have. Little spoiler, we don't. I still haven't gotten the, the money wrench. And I have no idea where, where to look because I have now seen most of the game. And I don't expect it to be in the final two or three levels that I'm now missing uh, by the time I record this. We're down to one life and it's good that we have the safe here. And this is where we actually are supposed to learn about that mechanic with the things that shoot you. But um, yeah, we already learned about that in the uh, power C room. This is just time crystal, which are wastes of time now because we can't do anything with our money. So. It's a heal. I mean, it's a heal. That's okay to have it be a heal, but we want, want to just go down and continue with the level finally. I mean, this level, uh, this episode will now be shorter since I cut that uh, 12 minutes 53 of failed attempts. And we're learning about deflectors. So this is basically a tutorial area to show us how that works. We are now here. Why do I stand around and do nothing? Probably talking about stuff. How I like how the game sets up tutorials like these. So, aha, uh, uh -huh. we have to jump over there to the thing. So let's do the jump, please. Do the jump, please. And now we have to get flung around. We'll have, we'll have to destroy the stuff and let's get flung around again and not just jump down because I expected that to happen. Uh, we're further down where we need to use the grapple to go over. We can also use some of the other mechanics. 
and I died here because I was stupid and we have to do all of that again. Well, Quarbel mocks us about having died 490 times. It's ridiculous. But okay, we're going through again, this time faster because we already know all the mechanics. This is the tutorial, we can just fly through it. And the things did stay uh, destroyed, which I'm thankful for, so that we can just continue around. They only get reset if you leave the area and reload it, and not if you die. So doing this grapple thing again via the grapple, we could have also used the gliding to do that. And that was fucking close. So we're changing timelines here. Again, the song doesn't change, because for this episode, we are stuck with uh, like about 15 minutes of the past song and then I'm gonna change to the future song again at the end of the episode just to show that off a bit but we're now having the past song all the time which is named the poisoned river while the future is the blue river by the colors that the river has in the respective timelines. We're continuing here, defeating the Vulture, gliding around to that other side, going down and seeing, oh god, this is a place to get perfectly screwed up by that fucker that shoots us. Great! We have to do that again! Where do we start? Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Just kill those guys and glide down. We can ignore these, but I still kill them to free Quarbel. Probably needs to be well fed. And I defeated these again. I just needed to defeat the Vulture, but I defeated all of them just so that they don't annoy me by jumping on me while I'm standing here. So now is the time to jump these to get... Oh god, it hit me! Oh god, it hit me again! Oh, phew. Okay, so, kill guy, kill second guy, by not waiting long enough so that we have to three shot them instead of one shot them. God no! I had to re leave the level and return here, and I think I'll just ignore them, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, using the grapple to close the gap here. There's a full heal there, which I'll take. And continuing using our key to defeat them and just jumping past this. We could also use the flying thing, uh, the, the upshooting things to boost ourselves. Aha! Hitting the fi uh, fireflies will make the passage safe and we can continue. The next room will have an upper exit to a seal. So I'm looking up now, but we can't really see a way to reach that in both timelines. But I'm still looking at it again and again. But we can we can scale that wall in both timelines, but it's uh, like those little nooks, uh, jumping up those is really difficult. We'll try it regardless. And here we're stuck, we can't go past that corner because uh, that area is too small to go past it. So I assume that we'll have to jump down from here. What? Didn't we do that? That's not how to get to the sea. Go right, Joe. Yeah, go right, Joe. So we have to go to, to jump down. Yeah, the gliding didn't work, that's why I got hurt. Interesting, this seems to continue down. Apparently not, says the map. Let's go up. And up here we are in the power seal room. So, uh, why am I sitting there? Just wanna... I frame all the stuff and go over. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Just checking if my recording still goes. 
I'm recording this bit with Audacity, the voiceover, by the way. So if my sound uh, voice sounds different, it's just because of the slightly uh, different settings between OBS and uh, Audacity. And this room at the, is the bane of my existence. I think, I mean, I only spent like four tries on this, but yeah, as you see, the bottom of this is pain and yeah i didn't uh, uh cut this out so i will have to talk over it for like 15 tries so you have to jump at it jump at it and then you have to do the jump but it's this time it both times did cling me to the side of the uh, boat that's falling down instead of uh letting me jump on the boat which would give me a jump this time I hurt my knee and there, thus I died. It's like if uh, I was talking a lot about if the uh, character model of the ninja can sit on that thing, then I should be able to boost myself up by it. But it's not always happening properly. And oh god, are we too low down? Oh god, uh, a vulture. Okay, the vulture has, has thankfully saved us because getting knocked out gave me another jump and I screwed up here. So we'll have to do that again and again and again and again. I think we have three tries, no, two tries left to go until we do it. So this will fail and the next one then will go fine. But we will we'll be learning a lot. Okay, no, that's three more tries. Why does this timeline screw up so badly in OBS? In, in, in Vegas? It should show me the preview on the little video strip. If you don't know how uh, Vegas looks, I might put in a screenshot. Nah, whatever. It, it works like every video program thing where you see a video cutting thing where you see like the, the a little preview stripe of the video and then uh, your all your audio uh, tracks which I use three one for unedited audio which sounds terrible one for edited audio which will this uh, recording go into uh, I have to set up a lot of uh, limiters and um, so I'm usually limiting my audio with uh, with Audacity so that it um, so that all the screams and stuff get uh, get cut and I screwed it up again and uh, so that all the screams don't uh, rip all the headphone users and uh, then I'm using compression and noise gates in. Uh, also doing noise removal in Audacity. Then I'm using noise gate and compression and equalizers in, in OBS, not in OBS, in Vegas, to make the uh, audio sound even better. And uh, then you get to hear the audio. And there's another audio track for the game, of course, where the only thing I'm doing with that uh, game audio is that I'm setting it to like minus 15 decibels so that it doesn't scream over me and it's only voice acted games that are uh, that I have to treat a little different so every time a character talks I'll, I'll have to manually make him lou louder so that his voice is roughly the same volume as my voice a minus like three de decibels because somehow my voice always sounds quieter than the other voice and I have no idea why but that's just how it how it feels um, yeah speak it's great to have post-production so I can speak about how how I do video uh, we want to send this one but for that, I want to reach. Uh, I want to try the other side that we can start at a okayish height. With that, please go around. Thank you. Kill that vulture so that this doesn't annoy us. And now just jump over using the platforms. Jump over using the platforms, not jump against the corner that's on the top of your head. Jump over like this. 
Yeah, no, 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 not like this. Especially don't drop down. Come on. Joe, pass Joe. You're an idiot. You can't play the game. And you're always complaining that the game does the m mistakes there. Yeah, go over. Go up. Yes, like that. And then just over and use that thing to grapple over. Safe. Okay, we did this uh, thing. We need to continue to the left where there will be a time portal. So let's see how that works out. What are you talking about, Joe? Pass, Joe. You're talking too much. Play more game, less talking. It's not like I. I, present Joe. Or future Joe? No idea. Am I future Joe or am I present Joe? No idea. So, portal going over, pulling the bat and killing the bat and then using the platforms to go against the current. Or just falling into nothingness because I screwed up the timing completely and pressed B instead of uh, trying to glide properly, which did break all of what I was trying there. Also screwing up the timing here again, just going over. So timing of most things in this game is so that if you run in from the moment you spawn and you get to the thing, then it's working to directly continue without having to do anything, any, uh, any more things. So jump, glide, jump, glide, jump, glide, jump, glide, kill bad, jump, glide, jump, glide, jump, oh god. Jump, glide, jump, glide, jump, glide. You still thinks to scale? Perfect. So now I was thinking about, should I kill that guy? Should I kill that guy? Should I kill that guy? No, 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 don't kill that guy. Don't kill that guy. Should I? I don't want to fall in, but I should kill that guy. Whatever, let's just go over. Let's just go over. Yep. And leaving the place. Okay. So we have to do this again, but this time being bombarded by one of the most annoying enemies in this game, but pretty easy here. And we can just try starting to scale this. Why don't you use your key instead of... Use your key! Or just go over like this. Okay, and this is where we have to use the fireflies to scale the spiky walls. Ah. We just have a few th seconds to go until we change back to uh, the future song instead of the past song. And I get got hurt a lot. Let's uh, let's ride this up. Over there, grab a look. Over there, I have to hit the firefly to make it help us. Go up. Trying to go over. Getting screwed by the fucking guy, hoping to grapple to something, and we got completely screwed by the game. By our inability to play the game, to be more precise. Why? Why don't you use your shuriken to kill that guy? Past Joe is an idiot. And we're changing to the future song. The future song is always a bit more uh, a bit more elaborated than the past song. That's how you can. Uh, it's basically the same song, but it's a bit more elaborated. Has a few more tunes to it. It's basically the one of them is 8-bit music and the other one is 16-bit music, and that, so that so that the uh, the composer can use more tunes and can add more tunes and it actually. A bit better version of the original tune. I think here in Riviera Torquas is one of the places where you can't really. So am I just? Use your key, Ugh. Joe. Use the fucking shurikens to kill the guy. Oh, Joe is stupid. Now I use the shurikens for the fireflies, huh? Okay, just looking at the fireflies, they create a safe path for us that is not spiky. We have to change fireflies to the left one. Then we have to go up, we have to hit that firefly so that we get a safe place. 
I think I just got hurt there by spikes that weren't there. Yeah, there I got hurt by the spikes that weren't there. I knew that it happened, but I didn't know the time. And we're slowly reaching the end of the episode, but we're still going through this time portal here. And now we'll be, uh, we did about two thirds of the Riviera Torquoise, or about half of it, roughly half of it. And we're gonna do the other half of the Riviera Torquoise in the next episode, starting off with the future uh, soundtrack and getting in a few other sound checks uh, in the next episode because I think there's another thing that happens there that demands a different sound check. But okay, this is where we're going to continue in the next episode. Have a nice day, see you tomorrow and click those links in the end screen like subscribe now on the left, it works. <laughs> <laughs>